It's funny, I was talking, uh, this title, this idea originally came to me uh, maybe 15 years ago. <clears throat> I was in Bali. I was, I was with my friend. Uh, he was like 70 years old. He, he was still a massage girl addict. He liked, um, yeah, he just couldn't help it. You see, it doesn't end when you get older. No, it can get worse. So he still liked going to, to, to the massage girls and getting a massage and then doing all the other stuff. And, and but, but somehow he was cool, though. He was open. You know, he wasn't. Th there's different levels of uh, degenerates. And also, I was going to some 12-step meetings. They had it in Bali, and we met there. And so, <clears throat> yeah, we were talking. And I was telling him my idea. It's like, because we were talking about semen retention. <laughs> and I was telling him, like, it's important, man. Like, okay, go, go see your massage girls, but just don't release. You see, he was interested. He was like, damn. And then I would break it down for him, and it made sense. So then I was like, I was like, this should be like a cartoon. I call him Sea Man, right? He has some white cape on. He's flying around. And then there's the black hole. It's like pulling Seaman into the black hole. Seaman's like, you know, trying to regulate. But depending on his level of consciousness, determines if it gets sucked in the black hole. And uh, I should patent that. Yeah. Somebody wants to do the cartoon, just <clears throat> give me a cut. So this is, this is, uh, this is what we're up against. <clears throat> just look at yourself and see. Look at yourself and see when you're around that female energy, particularly if she turns it on, she turns up the, the dial and really knows how to do it. Some of those girls really know how to do it. Remember that song back in the day? That girl is poison. I used to like those girls. I like the poison girls because it was just more fun. I liked to, you know, I was an adventure addict. I liked feeling, I liked getting my heart ripped around and all the drama and all that. <laughs> it made me strong though now. See, it won't happen now. And uh, even, even, yeah. never get so complacent to where you say, no, I'm always above it. No, if, you, if the universe wants to send you the right girl, you can get, you can get emotionally uh, turned upside down sometimes. But the degree, the intensity of it, it, it's just not there anymore. Like it used to be when I was a teenager or 20s, you know. But I'm not afraid of it. If I get, if I get a little, you know, like... <clears throat> you know, in the chest, lose a little breath over, like, it's cool. I'm like, oh, good. I get to experience that again. Okay. Because I know it passes. It's not such a big deal. So that's the black hole. Uh, they're sucking you. They're sucking you. I've mentioned uh, in a short video where I talked about this. Um, when the guy, and, and myself too, in the, in the past, we meet the girl and for the first, I don't know, month or two or three, it's like she added a whole new <clears throat> vibe to me. Like vibing, like walking off the ground, man. I'm like, hey, how you doing? You know, I'm saying hi to my enemies and everything, like just happy. And then fast forward six months or a year, life force is like getting sucked up because I was allowing it, especially if you're ejaculating. She, she, she's taking your life force. <laughs> Imagine <clears throat> the, the, what some girls do to a guy. She, she drains them. There's even these stupid girls that make videos, I heard, telling other girls to drain your guy before he leaves in the morning and then drain him again if he comes home to eat, lunch, and then drain him again at night. Just keep draining him. <laughs> what a bunch of sick people, huh? Hey, if you keep draining him, he won't, he won't have any mojo or chi to, to go mess with other girls. Basically, you're just be, you, you, you'll, you'll be the girl's slave. Yeah. Yeah, you guys got to get free, man. <clears throat> the, the, yeah, it's a little bit crazy out there. If you, it's like nature's law. The strong survive and the weak pair. It's like that. You look in nature when the birds, um, they have babies up in the nest in a tree. And if one of the babies are too weak, if the, if the mother deems like, no, this is too much weight to carry, like the baby's just sick, she just kicks them out of the nest. And some fox grabs it. This is, this is 
this is a deep principle, a uh, law of nature, because that's how <clears throat> nature keeps um, keeps its strength. We can't have a bunch of weak genetics, you know, in 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 society, in nature. It just will perish. <clears throat> so the animals know that. It's unconscious. I mean, it's instinctual. So it's not like they're wise and <laughs> they're making a tough decision. No, it's instinctual. For humans, it's 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 more difficult because we have an emotional body and then we feel bad and there's all this stuff. So anyway, if we're weak and insecure, life is going to keep hitting us somehow. And it does that via relationships. So if you're already weak and lack energy, this is the dynamic right here. You're weak and you lack energy. <laughs> Life will show up as a girl who will look like she'll give you energy. You're going to be a sucker to that because you're already weak. You're, you're in a, a weak state, so you're susceptible to these, these things. You're like, ah, energy. And then she's going to end up, you already have low energy. She's going to take the rest of the energy that you have. <laughs> so two things can happen. You'll just end up uh, dying at some point or wishing you were dead. Or you're going to hit bottom and then something's going to take your life back. I'm talking to those people. You're just be like, I'm done. I'm just done. I'm done. Like, I am done. I'm done. And you're going you're gonna to start to take your life back. How that actually looks, that process, it's individual. We don't know. <clears throat> but we start incorporating uh, healthy lifestyle habits, which that's why I made my other channel, Transcending Shadows. We go over that diet and company and environment and do an introspection. Then I made my other channel, Spiritual Renaissance. So you have a spiritual practice. You're learning to recognize who you are beyond this human body. This is why we need to do semen retention. Because the spiritual channel, it's about very subtle realizations. You can't have subtle realizations and insights and downloads if you don't have any energy. You need that energy to give you your mind the capacity to download higher realizations. If you're losing your energy, your mind's just dull. We're just, we're, we're stupid. We're just, we, we stay ignorant. There's no life force. This is why we have to do semen retention. And then you're not going to be a slave to this black hole. You're not just going to get sucked in so easy. You're going to have, you're going to have some strength. You might still get sucked in a little bit or something, but then you'll fly out. All right, see man, he, he gets sucked in, then he flies out. Hmm. So this is the journey and this is the process, but you have to recognize I used to, when I didn't have, because um, I didn't have much, uh, my mom, <clears throat> I didn't have like a mother that just lavished <coughs> all this attention on me. And um, uh, so I had a deficit for this female energy. I needed it. I felt like I needed it. I needed it too much. That's when you get in trouble. And so, um, Damn, I forgot where I was going with the point. I don't know. Let's just flow with it and see what happens. <laughs> so I really needed that to be... To, every time I got into a relationship, I would just get stuck. I would just, you know, I would start worrying that she's going to leave me. I'm like, this feels so good. Oh, God. And then the mind would say, yeah, but what if it don't last? She's going to leave you. I'm like, oh, no. And then when I was with her, so then I would do things to try to secure it. <laughs> that makes it worse. They can feel that. They can, they can smell that a mile away, and then that drives them further away. And then you're more hungry, and then it drives them further away, and finally they just cut it. And then what? Then you go into depression. That makes you stronger, though, if you use that, <clears throat> use that state as an indication that you need to get more strong. I remember what I was going to say. I used to have the fantasy that when I met a girl, that she was somehow... She was there to give me energy, give me life. She was, she was like there to m make me happy. I wasn't thinking what I can give her or do for her. No, I was using her like a drug. I just, I felt really good with her. And so I just wanted her to keep making me feel good. I never occurred to me that she has her own, she's doing the same thing. <laughs> That's why relationships don't work. It's a stu super heavy drug intoxic intoxication though this this uh play of masculine feminine energy this is why we get hooked on it it's the ultimate drug 
that's why we got to go beyond beyond <clears throat> the level of instinct to recognize you can say our true mm, spiritual power or inner power only then will you be at a higher vantage point to not get sucked into the black hole or sucked into this addiction to this euphoric drug that we get when we're with a girl you can't you can't manage that on the same level as that you have to go beyond that that's why i made the channel spiritual renaissance but that's not for everybody clearly so it's all good it's all a test this is everything's designed here to make us stronger it just is this biological software that we have super strong it's so strong man you can't help it for, for the most part generally speaking the man is drawn to the girl it's just there like this look at your own life it's there it's, i'm not talking about those who have been hurt and now they resent women and no that's not natural i'm talking about if you're healthy and balanced and you don't have any resentments you're gonna feel drawn and pulled toward that direction unless you're asexual even then they feel it it's just more subtle it's natural law of energetics like what are you gonna do opposite energy polarities they attract like it's just that's just what it is <clears throat> but a man is more you can say like this women feel it too women though like a man's drawn to a woman there's a pull women it's more like they need a man it's more of a need this is why this is why you know it's more calculative that's why a lot of times they have a designer kit of how you're measuring up to what they want because it's about security it's more need. It's coming from need. Man doesn't have that need. It's more they're just drawn. That's why a lot of times a guy in a relationship, he's not even thinking about like what's going to, he just doesn't think about it. He's just like, okay, we're together. Cool. That's enough. He's not projecting into the future about kids, about this, about that. Women, like, I didn't know that they did that because I didn't do it. So I just thought they were like me. But then that comes out later. She starts asking questions and stuff. And I'm like, damn, you're putting a lot of thought into this. I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't, I'm not thinking about that at all. <laughs> it usually ends after that. So, yeah, let me know if you got something from that. Uh, yeah, leave me any questions you have. I'll answer them. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Have a good day. Stay out of the black hole.